What's good, YouTube? Stormy B Man here coming at you with another video. First of all, shout out to the LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community, and New Media. If you find yourself liking this contact content, please like, subscribe, and share for more. Okay, here we go. I'm back tonight to talk about the upcoming fight, April 20th, Saturday, 2019. Terrence Bud Crawford against Amir King Khan. This fight has some audience and observers feeling like it's going to be a real test and challenge for Bud Crawford. But I'm here with a counterpoint to that notion. Bud does not appear to me to be the one who has anything to prove in this match. And if you go by what people are saying, the consensus is that Khan, who in some minds is an excellent boxer, and a fast-handed fighter, and a fighter who has good feet. Well, I disagree with that. I do believe that Bud Crawford, who I consider a fighter who is a five-dimensional fighter, has everything that Amir Khan has, plus a whole lot more. Amir Khan has what I define as two dimensions. He hits and he runs. He hits and he moves. He hits and he tries to overwhelm with activity. So much and so basic that it's like a glorified amateur style fighting in the pros. And one thing you can say about any decent, good to great pro, he will time that amateur and catch him with something. If not just totally break him down in route to catching him with something. All which we have seen happen to Amir King Khan before in the past. And it's one of the reasons why he is not an elite fighter or a first tier fighter. He's a second to be rated fighter at most. And because his boxing IQ is so minimal and compared to Bud Crawford, he's going to find himself in a situation where He's going to have to answer questions, but is going to be asking them. And I don't believe Amir Khan is up to the answers. Bud typically takes two to three rounds to figure a guy out. And by that time, he's turning the fight and the tide in his favor totally. Once again, I see this happening with Amir Khan. His basic one, two, one, two, three, four and getting out of there is not necessarily going to work, especially against a fighter who's well honed to cut the ring off, to set traps, and to also punch with him punching. The best time to hit a guy is when he's trying to hit you. He's wide open. You just need to know the counter shot to throw. Khan has little or no head movement, so his chin is usually right on the line. So if he's throwing any particular punch, he's there to be hit. The other thing is, Bud, who is a multi-division champion, great under fire, and he adapts and adjusts quickly and is able to use an opponent's strength against him. 
Khan, on the other hand, seems to just want to overwhelm his opponents with activity. He has one gear and one gear only. And once fatigue starts to set in, he withers terribly. And as the saying goes, fatigue makes cowards out of men. His speed and activity will not bother Bud, who's as crafty as any fighter today. Once Khan gets a little fatigued, he'll drop his hands. He'll begin to stand and and plant himself and not be able to give good angles, and he'll get caught. But in the meantime, Bud will be breaking him down. It won't be a thing where he just gets caught with something and gets KO'd. You're going to see a fighter who has a killer instinct and who knows how to control and dictate a match, just as he has done many times over. This is how I see this fight going. As we get a little closer to the date, I will offer up more tidbits, but just let me know. This is Stormy B-Man. Leave some comments. Let's debate this issue. If you're a person that feels that Khan will be able to provide Bud with a stiff challenge, let me know about it in the comments section. Until then, I'll speak to you soon.